Hi guys, in my previous class, we discussed about vectors in two dimensions. Suppose this is x and y plane. If I take a vector in x and y plane from the origin, so this is a vector. Now, if this is a vector, this vector is resolved into two components. One is along horizontal component along x axis. So this is along horizontal component and one is along vertical component. So that is along y axis. So the horizontal component we represented as a suffix x and vertical component along a suffix y. Or if you can take the corresponding points from here to here, that is also and from corresponding points along this is this is easy to see. So this is vertical component a y and this is horizontal component a suffix x. And if a is a vector, so what is the component of a x? A x equal to we have written a cos theta if theta is the angle at here always remember where the theta is so that side will becomes horizontal component where the theta is that side becomes horizontal component suppose if this is a coordinate axis Now what about the expression for ay, vertical component ay equal to a sin theta. Now by using these two expression, we try to write the equation for a vector. A vector a equal to, we written as a x plus ay. So here one thing is missing. That very very important thing is that the unit vector along x axis is a cap along y axis that is j cap. So this equation is it's incomplete until unless if you do not add the direction a x i cap or i hat that is pronounced as i hat. So i upon just like hat or cap. So this is called as hat or cap. Now this is the expression equation for a vector a equal to a x i cap plus a y j cap. So here what is the value of a x? a x equal to a cos theta and a y equal to a sin theta. And what about the direction? The direction equal to along the theta direction. And to find the magnitude of a vector, the magnitude, the magnitude of a vector, we can get that simple formula ax square plus ay square. So just like Pythagoras theorem here, we need to apply x square plus a y square equal to a square by using Pythagoras theorem or triangle law both are same so here a x square plus a y square equal to we get it and to get the magnitude of a equal to I can write that under root of a x square plus a y square so this equation gives the magnitude of the vector and what about the direction so we will get the direction by using tan theta tan theta equal to a y upon a x so then this tan theta gives the direction of the vector in which direction it is showing so this is the new knowledge we got it from the vectors in two dimensions so again i will write everything the components very very important that is horizontal component and vertical component and after that 
we have written the expression for a vector ax i cap and ay j cap here i cap and j cap are unit vector and ax equal to a cos theta and ay equal to a sin theta and magnitude to find out the vector magnitude a equal to under root of ax square plus ay square it's only for magnitude and for direction so we can use the tan theta so tan theta gives the formula for ay upon ax it's only the the magnitude of ay upon the magnitude of ax then it gives the direction the vector a direction so this is all about the two dimensions what we learn so but today's class we need to learn about three dimensions a vector in three dimensions so whenever three dimensions comes so we are having a basic mathematical knowledge so this basic mathematical knowledge so in three dimensions it means we are having x axis and y axis and z axis three axis will become now its corresponding negative axis also if it is positive x axis this is negative x axis and this is negative y axis and on the down this is negative z axis suppose if i move at here i am having controls so if i move the corresponding points suppose if i take y equal to 0 now let it be y equal to 0 and if i can move that x equal to now here you can see the point is moving along the x axis so likely if we can move x and the y and the z axis so we can find the location in the three dimensions now this point is location from the origin here you can see the green arrow mark small green arrow mark shows about the direction of the point so remember here in three dimensions we are having x and y and z axis so i am cleaning the screen so that I can show much more. If you play with these three axes, now if I change the z axis, now the location of the point. So it is in the mid air, not in the plane. To make the plane in, on the plane, so I, I need to make it to zero, all the way to zero. It means on the z axis, nothing is there. Now the point is only on the x and y plane, it is not in any z plane. So whenever it comes to three dimensions, it means the object will be in the air. So that is the specialty of the three dimensions. So like this, if you can change the location in the x or y or z axis, so the corresponding location also will be changes. So this is a preliminary knowledge about three dimensions. So what about to deal with these vectors? Suppose if I can take vectors in three dimensions, same we were representing x axis, y axis and z axis. So this black arrow mark let take as a position vector, position is also a vector, it is a position vector. Now if I change the coordinates corresponding to the points. See how this vector is changing its location from one point to another point. So if you can change one small value in any coordinate axis, any of that particular axis, the position of the vector is changes. Suppose if in this case the position of vector so here the values are showing at here x equal to minus 1.2 and y equal to negative 5.4 and z equal to 3.3 .3. so that is the location of the position vector now ask a question how shall we represent this vector in terms of a equation how shall 
we represent this vector in terms of an equation as like that in two dimensions we represent ax equal to a a vector a vector equal to ax i cap plus a y j cap so this is in two dimensions but in the three dimensions the third axis comes that equal to a z k cap so here k cap is the unit vector in three dimensions along z axis now this is the equation which is representing the position vector in three dimensions for this particular case what is the position vector represent suppose if i call this position vector as r r equal to what is the x value a along x axis that's showing at minus 1.2 position vector i cap what about y it's a negative 5.4 j cap what about z it equal to 3.3 k cap now this equation gives the vector equation position vector in terms of three dimensions suppose if we change any of these values let us play with this axis suppose if you can change the x axis y axis now and i can increase to the z axis negative and if i can take x axis to a positive let me take it here now to this case again the position of the position of the vector or arrow mark has changed now right now this equation will be changed now that vector in three dimensions how can we represent so we can represent by using here the x value equal to minus 12.9 and along with the unit vector i cap and y value 7.2 j cap and z value minus 7.5 k cap so this is how we represent a vector in three dimensions as a simple formula i can give vector expression in three dimensions a equal to a x i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap so this is the vector representation in three dimensions suppose if you ask a question what is a x and what is a y and what is a z just wait a moment i can give that values right at here before that i would like to show how this vectors is represents let's see how this vectors will be act in the three axis so here i am having a three dimensional plane the red axis shows x axis and green is y axis and blue is z axis suppose if i make to move a vectors suppose if i take x equal to around 3.4 and y equal to 2.2 so here you can see how the x is going on the along x axis up to value 3.4 then after it is turning towards to the y so the y reaches up to 2.4 then after from that z axis how much i have taken z axis around 3.4 now here you can see what is the location of the object yeah if you can see from two dimensional so that is looks like just in air so that is the exact location of the object now from the origin if i draw so this is the position vector of that ball so this is position vector position vector in three dimensions how can we write this expression so here what is x component that is 3.4 i cap is unit vector along x axis plus 2 j cap unit vector along 
y axis and plus 2.4 k cap that is unit vector along z axis so if if we turn so this vector notation so then you can see clearly how the location of the object is placed in the three dimensions so this is very beautiful to watch to get the proper knowledge of the object so when you can see only x and y x and z axis so it's just like on the air suppose when we can see from the top angle so we can see at here the three axis so how x component and y component and z components are representing the position of the object so it's very nice to see so let me change one more suppose if i changing x to negative 2.2 and y is again negative 2.8 and now this z is also let me take around negative 3.6 now here you can see where is the location of the object so the location of the object if we can turn to particular angle then we can understand where is the location of the object now here you can see the resultant location so how can i write this vector expression first of all everything is negative so it obviously comes in the third quadrant so the expression goes to minus 2.8 i cap and minus 2.6 j cap and minus 3.8 k cap now where is the location of the object the location of the object at here now if we play the slides at here we can understand let me take to the top angle so that we can see very carefully let me clear the screen first now how the vectors are changing first it will move from the origin to along x axis x axis value up to where it is 2.8 then after y axis y axis value i have taken up to 2.6 now the z axis now the z axis is pointing down because it's a negative value now here you can see where is the location of the object the position vector of the object yeah the position vector of the object at here right at here how do we write the expression just like by using a standard expressions ax i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap so this is our this is the useful method to locate an object in the three dimensions suppose if you want to locate a satellite or if you want to locate an airplane if you want to locate any point on the earth so these kind of the coordinate systems are very very necessary now what is my task right now i need to write the in three dimensions we learn we are having three axes so x and y and z axis so if any vector in three dimensions is represented suppose if i take any vector at here it is represented in three dimensions a bar equal to vector a x i cap and a y j cap and a z k cap so this is a vector notation in three dimensions so i cap j cap k cap are the unit vectors along the three axis i cap is along x axis and j cap along y axis and k cap along z axis are the unit vectors now here we need to bother about what what is the magnitude of ax unlike in the two dimensions we got it from the a simple trigonometric law but here I directly give the formulas there is no particular proof for this ones because this is going into higher order mathematics so you can take this as granted so ax equal to a cos alpha 
एंड ए वाई इक्वल टू ए कॉस बीटा एंड ए जेड इक्वल टू ए कॉस गामा सो हियर व्हाट आर दिस न्यू फेलोस अल्फा बीटा एंड गामा अल्फा बीटा गामा आर द एंगल मेड बाय द गिवन वेक्टर विथ द थ्री एक्सेस सो टू शो दैट एवरीथिंग आई नीड टू वाइप आउट so right now i have taken a fresh coordinate system so in this coordinate system suppose this is my position vector let me draw with that perfect arrow so this is position vector so p is a location so this vector is represented as ax i cap plus ay j cap plus az k cap so this i can call as vector a now what is the value of ax ax equal to i said a cos alpha so here alpha is the angle made by the vector p with x axis so this angle we take as alpha and i cap is unit vector along x axis and what about the value of ay the component along y axis that gives a cos beta cos beta is the angle made by the given vector along with y axis so this angle gives beta and unit vector along y axis is j cap what about az az equal to a cos gamma so here gamma is the angle made by the position vector or given vector which is the z axis so this angle goes to gamma so here we are not going to prove uh, how this are uh, come up in this formula so for a moment take it as granted now how to find the magnitude of the given vector so if these three are the components of the given vector to find the magnitude so the magnitude formula is same as it is so a equal to under root of a x square plus a y square plus a z square so this gives the magnitude of the given vector so this is how we represent a vector in the three dimensions so any vector represent its corresponding components and the corresponding components are divided in three components along x axis y axis and the z axis so this is how the magnitude resulted magnitude and the direction in this case direction finding is a little difficult and to get the resultant magnitude so this is the formula we are going to use to find the resultant magnitude and for the corresponding directions we can find the corresponding direction by calculating that angles alpha beta and gamma so here i want to give a, a general formula for a position vector for a position vector formula or position vector representation equation you can say position vector r bar position vector r equal to in three dimensions you can represent that x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap so this is the simple position vector notation in three dimensions in 3d but when it comes to 2d so the position vector r equal to x i cap plus y j cap how do you find the magnitude the magnitude of r equal to under root of x square plus y square so this is what we learned in the vector resolving components in the two dimensions and three dimensions so in the next class we will try to add two or more vectors in three dimensions how these vectors can be added just like numbers we can add vectors also